This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. This is actually our first ever interview. Nice it's to uh, see you. How it's are you doing? great to finally interview you, Adam. But I, I want to get your thoughts first of all. This is a, a huge fight. In your opinion, you've been involved in so many massive fights over the years. Where does this rank over the past, say, 25 years in terms of events? Yeah, it's a really interesting question, actually. And, and not many people have, have put that into context. I. I go back to Lewis Bruno at Cardiff Arms Park, um, amazing battle of the Brits. We've had many uh, over the years, Lennox Lewis and Henry Akinwande, Akinwande and Scott Welsh, obviously uh, Tyson Fury and Dillian White uh, in recent times. Um, look, AJ against Dubois is a big fight. I think it's big because of what Turkey Al Sheikh has done, what Riyadh season have brought to London. This week has been mad. It's been fabulous. It's been opulent it's been different it's been starry and i love these evening events because we're getting ready for the evening on saturday night so yeah monday we're by the water by the thames tower bridge lit up in the sunshine leicester square uh, for the walk-ons on, on the red carpet on tuesday great to see um Adam Hamed fight with Prince Nassim there and the workouts with the Finchley boys in there at Wembley. Then we've got the Guild, all this wonderful building here. Tomorrow, Trafalgar Square. It's a fabulous week and, and it, it does build up to a, an amazing uh, fight. It's Battle of the Brits. It's two great heavyweight punches. Um, so it's got to be right up there. I mean, AJ Klitschko, seven and a half years ago, is the, as Eddie rightly said, is the event that people still talk about. Um, so will that this take its place? I don't know. It's going to have to be a Hagler Hearns, as Frank said, for it to uh, to beat the epic that AJ Klitschko was. But I think we're going to get real value for money, um, providing they both let their hands go and uh, a knockout's expected, isn't it? I think so. AJ, someone that's been critiqued for his whole career, from he made that move from an amateur to a pro, even as an amateur, always criticised, always kind of that star boy that maybe hasn't got the recognition that he actually deserves. He's facing a guy in Daniel Dubois who's been, in my opinion, an underdog in the last three fights. Where do they meet in the middle in this fight in terms of where does where does that settle out on each side? Well, they met in sparring a few years yeah. ago and I was lucky enough to be at one of them. Um, and Anthony and I were laughing about it on, uh, on Monday night saying that he, he said, you were there when I slipped in the corner. And we had a bit of a joke about it. I mean, it, Daniel was very competitive in that spa. Um, this is many, many, many years later. And um, I think they're ready. I think they're both ready. I think you're right. Daniel is the underdog again. He was against um, uh, Jerome Miller. He was against Philip Hergovic. Maybe he was against Usyk. Um, we saw what happened in the Usyk fight. Some great, some not so good. Miller really toughed it out. And Hergovic, a brilliant upset. Um, but he did take a lot of punches in the first two or three rounds. And I know Don has been working really hard on his defense. So I do see Daniel as an underdog. Um, I think it is all with AJ, the momentum as well. I think he's with Ben Davis and he's, he's reconstructed something. It seems to be a fire back with him. He seems to be really listening. He's taking it in like a sponge, being around him in, in, uh, in, his, uh, in his Harlow base. Yeah, he's loving it around the McCormack brothers, around Moses, around um, Lee Wood. It's great. Um, He's like he's a young kid again, AJ. So, yeah, look, I, I think it's a fascinating fight because Dubois got momentum. He's the young lion. Um, we knew it was going to happen at some stage. Um, but I think Anthony has got a lot of recognition, as Eddie again set up there, from the casual fans for changing British boxing, for changing the sport, for being that poster boy. But he's a fighter, first and foremost. And what he did against Klitschko was he came back through adversity, a couple of punches away, turned it on its head and had his greatest night. Yeah, since then there's been ups and downs, but he shared a ring with Usyk, gone 12 rounds a couple of times. Yes, he's come on the wrong end of it, but AJ is a world champion. He could be a three-time world champion on Saturday night world-class fighter. We just want to see him maybe get a victory over uh, an Usyk or a Fury or, or would have been a Wilder. Um, but a big victory over Daniel Dubois goes a long way. You talked about a spar that you were in between AJ and Dubois. I see that little smirk. What can you tell us about what you've seen? And I, I know you'll probably say I can't go into details, but what can you tell us about what you've seen from both guys in that spar? I've been, a, I've been at many spars and, and Anthony did many, many rounds with, with Daniel and, and with Fraser Clark and with Martin Bacoli and uh, uh, Joe Joyce, all sorts, um, up in the, the Sheffield gym. Um, the one I was there for was, as I said to you earlier, competitive. Uh, it was tough. Daniel was was young. I mean, sparring's different and different. You know, sometimes you get 
three or four sparring partners in. Joshua is working towards a fight. He'll want different tests. And Daniel has just got his opportunity to go in there and, 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 and give it a go, really. And, and he did. So, um, yeah, look, I, I saw AJ slip, shall we say. And, and I think he saw himself slipping too. Um, look, he sat up there. He got caught with a big shot. So, uh, um, let's, let's, let's leave it there. It's, uh, it's sparring. Um, it's, uh, it's real on Saturday night. Uh, smaller gloves. A lot of professional experience, 45 knockouts since then between them. Um, the stage is set, 96,000, wonderful event, terrific card. Liam Gallagher rocking and rolling. And I expect this to be a real shootout, I really do. And I, and I hope it is for the fans. Can you break it down in classic Adam Smith fashion for us, just to tell us exactly how this is going to play out on Saturday night? I think AJ will be a little bit circumspect in the first round. I think Dubois has got to try and get his jab going, which is good. Thank He's you. got good feet. Cheers, Gareth. He's got good feet. He's got a great left hook if he can get inside. I think he's got to block out the noise. I think he'll do that, Daniel, actually. He's been a Poland. I don't think he'll freeze. I think that he'll he'll go for it. It's whether he can get and implement you know, his authority on the fight. Joshua will have a little look, I think, for the first round, maybe two rounds. But I think they'll have been working on exposing that weakness in Daniel Dubois. And maybe it is the, the slight slowness in hands. Occasionally he doesn't get that defense right. Don Charles will have been tightening that up. But I think Ben and AJ would have worked long and hard about when that mistake is made. You saw it in the Nganu fight. You saw what he did with Wallen. He took his time. He opened him up. Nice body shots from Joshua as well. I think body punches could be critical on Saturday night. And I think it'd be very interesting to see who lands first with them. But I think they're going to go back to type. I think when the spark is lit, I think we're going to see some fun. I think it's going to be a bit of a rumble. But I, I'm, I'm backing Joshua to come through it. I just think he's a bit steadier. I think he's a bit more experienced. I think he's a little bit better. And I think he'll handle the occasion. So, And I wouldn't want to be in the opposing corner fighting AJ when he's like this. I think he's got it right again. I think he's, he's like a sponge. And I think he's really enjoying his boxing again. Um, so Ben and AJ, I think, make a pretty, a pretty good combination, and I, I think they'll come through. The most stacked undercard I've ever seen in my life. Let me ask you a question on that undercard. If you were picking one fight to steal the night, which would it be? I think Josh Warrington and Antti Kakache stylistically might be a real humdinger, but the fight I'm most looking forward to is definitely Joshua Boatsy and Willie Hutchinson. Uh, there's, there's rivalry there, um, there's amateur form. Um, I think both of them want to be superstars. Um, Boatsy has, has been like the cab on the rank waiting for that moment to make a statement. Is this the opportunity on the grandest of stages or is Willie Hutchinson going to do it again? He showed real good boxing IQ when he beat Craig Richards in Riyadh. If he can do the same again, but as he's in for a tough night. So I think it's all about who settles better in the first three or four rounds of that fight. That's the one that's most intriguing for the, for the trade fan. Um, for the casual fan, if I wanted to pick a tear up, I'd go for Josh Warrington and Anthony Kikachi. I don't think they're going to leave anything in there. Last one from me, just on that Kikachi warrington fight. How disappointing is it with the news coming out from the IBF? Yeah, look, I mean, there's always disappointments in boxing. There's always maneuvers. There's always a jigsaw with belts. I mean, the IBF heavyweight title, wouldn't it be better if Daniel Dubois had beaten Filip Hergovic for that belt? Wouldn't it be better still if Alexander Usyk held them all because he is the undisputed champion and has never been beaten? But the governing bodies do their thing. Um, listen, all we as fight fans, and that's what I am and that's what you are, all we want is the best fights. Turkey al Sheikh and Riyadh season are putting on the best fights. I, I will get a plug in for Izzy and GBM because down a couple of levels, a phenomenal fight night on Friday the 27th in Sheffield. Don't miss it. Shaquille Thompson, River Wilson, Ben, Ticey Gallagher, Tori Ellis Willis, and a humdinger with Reese Mould and Ryan Walsh, Huey Fury as well on the card, and Maxi Hughes. So for British boxing, we need great fight nights, okay, at whatever level. There might be only 2,000 in the Magna on Sheffield on Friday next week. There's going to be 96,000 here. We want to see the best fights. We want to see more of Riyadh season, and we want to see better shows in Britain. Adam Smith, absolute pleasure. Thank you.